Hey there, Melissa with Atlas CFO. Today we're talking about getting your financial and accounting information organized. And maybe you feel like it's been a minute since you've really leaned into it, or maybe you, you just think, gosh, there's got to be an easier way to streamline our processes. And let me tell you, there is. It, it actually is what I spend the whole first section of our all access course on is just getting everything organized and creating the system around it. But today I'm going to give you three tips to help get you organized in your back office. So the first thing is to identify who? Yes, who should be doing the tasks that need to be done? Many times as the owner, you say, oh, I do all the things. I, I do all the things. Well, maybe it's time to discover who else in your organization could help. And if you don't have a who else, maybe it's time to get a who else. Once you identify who can help and, and you have some help, then you can identify what they can do. Whenever I think about what needs to be done, one of the first things I start on are the things that are repeatable. For example, we cut checks every week. That's a repeatable process. So if we know who should do it and what they're going to do and it's repeatable, then we can build a system around it. Once you build a system around it, then you don't have to try to remember what day do we do things. I can't I can't quite remember. It's just, uh, it's, it's too wild. Well, having a who and a what and then a when gives you that solid foundation so you know what to expect, you know when it's going to happen, and then you know if it doesn't happen, how to get back on track because you have the system around it. And finally, the, the last tip, I might have been three tips already, but I'm going to tell you one more tip, which is reporting. So if you've got the who and the what and the when, one of the best ways to determine whether it's all working is to have the right reports come out of your software so you can see the results of the work. That report could be financial statements. It could be a job report. It could be weekly cash receipts and cash disbursements. Each company is a little different on what they want to see, but if you think about what kind of reports could be run so that I can see that I'm organized, it's almost like a little reward. So you you now have the, the who and the what and the when, and then the report can show you that yes, check the box, it's happening. If you like this type of stuff and you want to get your company organized, you are welcome to join us in the all access bundle and the all access course. That's where we have all things construction accounting and we have an owner path that is just for owners so they can learn more about the financial side of their business and then we have a training path for your in-house accountant bookkeeper so that they can get everything organized for the business we have so many people give us feedback that it is making a huge difference in their organization because they have confidence that their systems are in place and that they know that they're producing good information. Thanks for spending time with me. Remember who, what, when, and then the report that proves that you're doing it right. We'll see you soon.